up, nerds? So before I left for my trip to Europe, I Instagrammed this picture of the bag that I took. Yes, three weeks in Europe with this bag. You may be asking yourself, how the hell did he pack three weeks worth of shit in something that's basically the size of a microwave? Some of y'all asked to see how this is possible, so here we go. First off, I was actually quite lucky because it was the height of summer and the entire tiny continent of Europe basically has a permanent case of swamp ass. So I didn't have to pack that much fabric. Lo and behold, all of my clothes. If you have not discovered packing cubes, please go to Amazon or eBags or something and remedy this situation. It opens up like this. It comes with a folding board, which helps you fold, but it also makes the top really flat. I have one maxi dress, which is quite large. I have one, two, three, four, five, six tops. One, two, three pairs of shorts, and one, two other dresses. Not to mention this thing which I'm wearing, which I actually wore on the plane. There, I think. Somebody do the math. How many outfits is that? Some of you may be very clever and have made the observation that that is not enough actual clothes for 21 full days abroad, and I'll tell you how I fixed that. This one, I have a pair of leggings on the top because it wasn't full enough, so I like packed it tight with those. But this is basically all of my toiletry things that are not liquids. The secret to packing light is this and this. This is a tiny ass washboard that I got at Muji, and these are Tide hand wash in sink single use detergent packets. Also when I was in Germany, my friend had a laundry machine. The biggest thing is obviously this thing, a foot powder, because my feet and I have an understanding, okay? We have an agreement that I will just put some of the- <laughs> Just sprinkle it in the shoes and you know, we're both a little happier. Toothbrush, deodorant, I have this which I use for ingrown hairs on my legs. Medicine, prescription stuff. Four packs of Trident because it's my favorite gum. And I didn't want to risk the chance that Europe does not have Trident. I had my camera which I didn't use at all. <laughs> I was having fun, okay? I chose to experience the moment instead of record it. So don't leave any nasty comments about it. <laughs> Insect repellent wipes, and they have Picardin instead of DEET, so they don't smell crazy, they actually smell really good. Random other stuff, hair powder, razors. The next largest packing cube was this one, which has three pairs of shoes, including the sandals that I wore on the plane. I took four pairs, so in here I have one pair of wedges, which was the only heels I took these sneakers, which were awesome, and these flats, which I didn't wear at all. I mostly wore my sandals, as evidenced by this horrible tan. Look at it, look at it. You're welcome. Then it has this one, which is cute because it has gummy bears all over it. And oh my God, I'm showing you my undies. In this, I have eight pairs of underwear, two bandanas, two headbands, a pair of socks, and a towel. And all that just fits in there very nicely. That's pretty much it. I only have small things now. I had this thing, uh, which I put all of my electronics in. Adapter, power cords, I even took my external hard drive because I thought I was going to edit video, which I didn't, which I already addressed, so shh. And this was my makeup bag. This is honestly my daily makeup bag. I didn't carry anything extra, so just all my normal stuff. By the way, half of this I had to put in my liquids container bag, which is this cute thing. I got this because it is exactly one quart size and it works a lot better than a Ziploc bag because it has like structure and you can stuff it really full. I actually stuffed it a little bit too full in Germany because I bought a tiny thing of Bioderma because we don't have that here and I was like, God, Bioderma, and it exploded and I had to tape it back together. It's really not very interesting. It weighed three and a half pounds. It was basically a bowling ball. The only other thing I had in that bag was this, which is just plain necessities. I have a pair of hospital socks and this inflatable neck pillow thing so that I can smother the closest crying child. The end. If you are a traveling whiz and you have any tips for me that would make traveling a lot easier, uh, please share them in the comments. If you suck at packing, I'm sorry, and I hope you learned something, and goodbye!